So it seems nowadays that we live two parallel lives. There's the real life and the digital life. And I think that digital identity is the image that we create in this digital life. So how people perceive us when they go on our Facebook profile or um, when they look up our name on Google. Having things like you know your Facebook account, Twitter, Instagram and all these things all together. From your social media to um, applications that you use within university and then professional pages and things that you'll use in the future as well. So to me it's hugely a hugely wide-ranging topic. It's, it's what people can see of you um, out with your sort of professional working environment. I think it's really important now that we live in a kind of digital world where people will Google everything and use Twitter to get news updates rather than maybe more um, traditional news organisations that we need to be aware of that and what our patients and people that we work with will do and so as a result I think it's important to be protective of your digital identity and make sure that it's something you'd want other people to see. Whatever we post online, it stays there forever. So a good digital profile is the one that will be um, favorably looked at by our employee, uh, by our uh, boss, by our parents, <laughs> but also by our friends. So a good digital identity is having um, stuff out there that you're happy for everyone to see and not having things that you might find yourself you know, in trouble for later on. Um, so, you know, having a professional outlook to yourself, um, such as you know, digital marketing yourself, basically to the to the outside world, um, is what makes a good uh, digital identity. Keeping a tight hold on your kind of your own social media um, to make sure that there's not um, aspects of your life being broadcast to the world that you wouldn't want future employers to see but at the same time using professional um, methods of social media such as LinkedIn to um, advertise yourself as well um, for the future job market and to future employers. So always thinking at least twice about what I post, always making sure that Whatever I post is not going to insult other people in any way and it's not offensive or too controversial. And uh, making sure that all of the good things about me that I want to show to the world, all of the academic achievements that come along the way of studying um, and all of the things that I would think other people would find interesting are out there so that my profile is accessible to anyone who's interested and maybe can show them things that I do and inspire them to do them as well. You can make a distinction between your social social media and your professional social media. Your social media that you share with your friends and with your family such as Facebook, uh, Instagram, that kind of thing. But at the same time you have things like LinkedIn and other um, areas of social media that you can use to balance against those. It is uh, important to regularly review what you post online, look at the privacy settings and make sure that the stuff out there relating to you is what you do want to pe people to see.